Grace and peace, beloved Grace and peace. Let me see if this is up. We know that there is power in the name of Jesus and every knee have to bow and every tongue have to confess that he is Lord. Welcome. If you are new, please don't go without giving us a subscribe and coming on of our IG and also giving us a follow. I want to bless God for this opportunity to actually be here right now. God is indeed awesome and worthy to be praised. There's none like him. I'm going to give us a quick encouragement for today. Today, we're going to talk about, as I begin to sort the Lord, he, he said that Daniel and David, while they are different in character, they both believe in him. And I'm going to let us look at some of the things. So we both know the story of Daniel and you know the story of David and in the story, you know, so basically I'll be in the book of, I'm not going to be long, but in case you're wondering where does, where am I pulling from, it will be from Samuel, book of Samuel, or David, uh, become Goliath, and um, in the book of Daniel, with Nebuchadnezzar and uh, Daniel being in the lion's den. Now, if you understand and I know now, we know that Daniel believed, we know the story of Daniel, how Daniel was brought over into captivity, into bandage, as to say, right? And in being brought over, we know what happened and how they, they sent for the best, they want the best, and Daniel ended up being that number and it being the, the king. Uh, the king Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian king and the Babylonian system. Now, I won't dive too much into it, just, just touch on the surface to let you know that now Daniel believe in the true king of kings and the Lord of lords. Of course, this would pose some challenge for him. Well, challenge would ar ar arose, but it wouldn't um, be so much where he, wouldn't, where he would uh, not believe in God. He still did. And in still believing in God, what had happened is that now they want to bring a charge against him. But Daniel did not bow. And we know that the three Hebrew boys did not bow. And this is what the Lord is basically, this is what I'm grasping from what he's saying, that the, it doesn't matter your situation or your circumstances, don't bow. It doesn't matter how hard it may seem right now don't bow it doesn't matter it seems that you're going under don't bow daniel still remained faithful in prayer and in remaining faithfully in prayer in so much that we know the situation that daniel uh the king nebuchadnezzar now had gotten a vision and he wanted the uh interpretation for the vision and and daniel would say oh king why are you so ac uh to get this uh, decree uh i asked of the for the king to give me uh a time give me a day uh, and i'll come with an answer and we know the scripture says that daniel went to god and in going to god daniel went and said oh great god the one who who, who rules the heavens, the one who have all power and might. And we know that that's how Daniel uh, began to pray to God and then he got the vision, he got the interpretation for the vision. And that's what the scripture says, that's what the book of Daniel says. And when the Lord said Daniel and David, I'm like, Daniel and David, what are you talking about? Then he began to speak to me, he says that, they're in situations that I want them to actually rest in as old Daniel did with the lions. Oh, this is good. And they're in situation that they should rest in as old Daniel did with the lions. But they are not. They are being fearful. Oh, glory to God. While they are uh, uh, and how they should behave with the lines, they are not behaving. They are behaving as how David behaved with Goliath. This is good. This is really good. Now I'm like, what is this, Lord? What is this? Are you telling me to come and say to your people? Now, as he began to, to, to let me have 
the um, humane understanding of it, uh, the physical understanding of what he has in the Lord in me spiritually is that that even though Daniel and David are two different persona, they believe in the same God. They believe in him. In so much scripture begin to replay in my head where, uh, as I recall from reading, where Daniel addressed God as all power and might belongs to him. And David could say that it's because of you why I'm not consumed. It's because of you why the enemy did not triumph over me. It is because of you why I am standing on top of my grave. It's because of you while the moat has been opened like an open sepulchre, but I am still alive. It's because of you why I can run through troops and leap over a wall. It is because of you why I've gotten the victory Sorry. And, and as it began to download in me, I am like, that is so true. It Daniel, looking at Daniel, it, Daniel is way over. Daniel is in the um, Babylonian system, while David is in the system of, of, of Goliath, is in the system of um, um, uh, um, uh, trying to get rid of uh, of Goliath, uh, the, the spirit of Goliath, the spirit that is torn in, uh, uh, I want to diminish the power of his God. Now, we know the stories in the book of Samuel. David was going on his merry little way, uh, you know, and he saw saw the, 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 the army ready to go at, uh, fight um, Goliath. But in fighting Goliath, they were timid. They were somewhat afraid. Now David have on his priestly anointing, did not know that he had this anointing on him uh, because he was in the field, right? He was in the field and being in the field, like situation, we we, we sometimes look, they'll be like, oh, who's she? Who were they? Were they? How, how did they reach here? But they did not know that the power and the grace of God is on you. Oh, glory to God. So now David having that anointing on him, saw the soldiers ready to fight Goliath were hiding. And because of that anointing that is on him, Goliath, they are speaking a lot of things and saying a lot of things. And that would get the, the, the power that is in him and on him somewhat away. Right? So in that case, now he's saying that, who was this uncircumcised Philistine? Who was this? Who was this? In other words, be like, who was this low class? Who was this nobody trying to talk about my God? My God who gave me power and authority. My God who let me tear the jaw of, of the beer's mouth. My God who, who give me strength. My God, who are you? You know, and that power came and David, and from there, David, we know the story, how he overcame Goliath and slew him and beheaded him. And it is just to say that David and Daniel, but they both got the victory. Oh, glory to God, because they believe in the same God. They believe in the same power. They believe that there is power and that there is might. David said it's because of you why I can bend tons of steel with my hands. It's because of you I can shoot arrow and bend bows. It's because of you while I get the victory. And we know that Daniel have gotten the victory and so much that Daniel... Uh, king Nebuchadnezzar said, let only the king of Daniel, the king, let only the God of Daniel be exalted. Mm -hmm. Let only the God of Daniel be thou exalted. Let only the God of Daniel be praised. Because the God of Daniel is the true God. What situation or circumstances that you are in, that you yourself have not come to the place or to the, to, to the realization to know that there is a God, that the God of Elijah is still God of today, that the God of Abraham is still God of today. We, we, we are so want to be, oh, I am, I am the ancestors of Abraham. I am the this of that. But what about the sons of the living God? 
What about the scriptures that said, now, beloved, now are we sons of the living God? Oh, glory. And being sons of the living God, you can ask anything in the Father's name and he will grant it. David said, hear my cry, O Lord, and attend to my prayer. And so me speedily. Oh, glory to God. And we know that God did answer David. Just as we answered Daniel when Daniel went on his knee. So he said that through prayer and supplication, let our requests be made known unto him. In our prayer and supplication, in our supplicating, what are the requests are you making known to him? What is so what is so burdensome to you? What is what is so keeping you down that you think or, or, or maybe you're wondering if he's going to hear you, if he's going to answer you? But you got to go to him. The gospel tells us, the gospel of majesty, it tells us that, listen, before we even gather together, God is in the midst of bless and do good. Before anything even happened that this rented us, our off us off guard. Is there awaiting our supplications? Oh, glory to God, this is good. Is there waiting on our request? Is there waiting to hear, to answer our plea, to answer our cry? What is it that you feel like your situation is not as a David situation, but it's a Daniel situation. It is not even a Daniel situation, but it's like, it is like a Jonah situation where you're running, we are denying the very, the very core of your existence that you were created to worship God. You were created in his image and his likeness to give him all honor and adoration and praise. Beloved, think it not strange. It doesn't matter what you do or say or where you go or to think that God cannot be able to forgive you or to love you. Who are we? Who are us? Who are we to say that or to think that? When he says that before you were in your mother's womb, before you were formed, he have called you, predestinated you to be great. He knows everything about you. Oh, glory to God. And knowing that he knows everything about you, he knows what you're going to do before you do it. He knows what you're going to say before you say it. He knows the very thought that you think. He said that because I know the plans that I have for you. Plans of good and not of evil. Plan to prosper you and to give you an expected end. What So, so whatever end you're expecting, God is saying that he is able, oh glory to God, to give you the expected end and more. He is able to do the exceedingly, the abundantly, the above all that you could ever ask of or think of according to the power, level of faith that worketh within you. Beloved, Remember that we are sons of the living God. You are son of the living God. And that he loves you. Your situation can be like an Abraham situation. A David, a Jonah, a Elisha, a Elijah, a Daniel. Just remember that you are an overcomer. And being that overcomer, it doesn't mean that you, you're only made to overcome once. Mm -mm. Now, greater works will you be able to do. And now will these signs and wonders follow after them. So while David 
and Daniel situation seems different to you or to us because it's their two different character. The thing that they have in common that we both should have is that they believe in the same God. And believing in the same God means that he's going to deliver you. He's going to come through for you. And just the way that he's, he has done it, he's about to do it again. Beloved, grace and peace as you continue to trust God in whatever Daniel situation, in whatever lion situation or circumstances, in whatever Goliath situation or circumstances, in whatever Saul situation, because remember that David had Goliath, then he had Saul to deal with. Daniel had Nebuchadnezzar, then he had the lions. I remember after one king, then the other king, listen, but they both overcome. They overcame it all. And this is the same thing that you are going to overcome it all. Because God is for you and he's not against you. Let us pray. God, I want to thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. I want to thank you for your people that are on here and about that are, those that are about to come across. God, we look to you. Oh, glory. We bow down to you, giving you all honor and glory. Knowing that, Lord God, there's none like you. And there will never be none that can compare to you. I want to bless you now for your goodness. I want to bless you now for your protection. I want to bless you now for your marvelous work. We want to bless you now for never giving up on us. We want to bless you now for being a donor. We want to bless you now for being Lord. Oh, glory of our Lord. We want to bless you now. Oh, glory of our Lord. We want to bless you Deliver us from ourselves and deliver us from the arrows of the enemies. Let, Lord God, your hands uphold us and let everything be done to your honor and to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Grace and peace, beloved. Remember, it doesn't matter you're, if you are in a Daniel situation or a David situation, you will overcome as long as you call on the God of all gods. And if you are new, please don't go without giving us a subscribe. And share it with a friend. Share, share it with a friend. And let us grow in the Lord. Let us grow. Let us see the growth of where or what God is doing. Don't come on here and when, oh, I'm going to fall her because she's has blown up or she's you know, but get on board because the word, you hear what the word says, what the Lord says. He said, he that ever hears, let them hear what the Lord is saying. And I want to bless God for keeping us and keeping you alive. Grace and peace. Remember, don't go without giving us a subscribe. Subscribe to the family and be a part of God's family. God bless you. Grace and peace. Know unto God that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior, the glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen and amen. Grace and peace. God bless. Shalom.